Lady Lily back with another video. And this is gonna be a mashup video. Just try to throw one more um, video in before the end of the year. But this is gonna be a mashup video. Um, of what, what is in my bag slash um, post Christmas shopping slash, yeah. Maybe some gifts I forgot to put in the video. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So we'll start out with the what's in my bag. Then we'll move on to like the post-Christmas or stuff I forgot haul. So at, let's get going. So um, the bag I'm carrying right now is the Michael Kors um, Yaza, Yama, Yaza bag. Got this from... Um, Ross, this is, I say, this is a decent size. I think I'm starting to get to the point that I'm not liking big bulky bags anymore. I'm liking more um, bags that are going to be really practical. Um, stuff I can, you know, move around with and put what I need in there and get going versus having big luggages. I think the big luggage bags, they have a time and a place for it. But I'm looking for more stuff in the future, either downgrading or looking for more practical. That's why I got uh, this um, bag. So this comes with like a little Michael Kors um, tag. It has a, a adjustable um, removable um, strap. Um, it comes with a back pocket here, which I feel is really easy to put your phone there. Um, the bottom does not have any feet. This is the like the brown, um, I forgot what they call this. It's not the leather, is it PVC? Something like that. So that's the material here. So on my bag, I have my um, Bath and Body Works. This is so cute. Um, my winter hand sanitizer. Um, I wanted the Halloween one, could not find it to save my soul. And because my uh, one of my mom's co-workers, she had like the bling bling ghost and you could put the um, hand, side, hand sanitizer on. She had clipped it to her purse and I thought it was the cutest thing. So I looked everywhere for that thing. Could not find it. So um, my mom's co-worker, saw, um, she had told her that I really wanted that. So she ended up giving me giving me this for winter. So this would be my winter. So although Christmas is over. Uh, because this is winter theme, we can continue to uh, use this to spring. And the hand sanitizer in there uh, smells really good. It's the frozen lake. And it smells really good from Bath and Body Works. So that's a little background on the little hand sanitizer. So um, this is how the bag looks. It's pretty spacious. So this is, has a side pocket. So now it's cold. I have some... Um, lock the icer so if you're um trying to get in the car with your key or in your house and the locks freeze up you just push it um squirt this into the hole and it um will de-ice um but my car um we really click the button to unlock um so yeah but in case like the doors the ice you'll have the de-icer so my dad Make sure me and my mom, every winter, have a bottle um, so we won't get stuck. Um, next I have is an iPhone um, charger cord. You know, this year I finally, finally entered the iPhone family. Um, people are asking me how it's going. I love it so far. I love the having the connections with the iPad and the phone and I had iPods already. It was like, why not, Lisa? So I am loving the fact that um, I'm in the iPhone uh, family now. And speaking of the iPhone family, I have uh, my iPhone. I think this is the 12. I know we own the 14. Um, but yeah, I'm yeah. I don't see myself. I'm not really a phone hopper in terms of you know you got to have the latest, the greatest in terms of phones. I'm, I believe in you just, you know, wear this down till you can't 
you know, wet no more. So, like, yeah, like my last phone, which I'm actually using my old phone to record this video, um, it cracked. And that's really the reason I stopped using it, but um, it cracked up. But other than that, that phone served me good, you know. So, yeah, so got my iPhone and I got this case. Had this case for a while. I think I got this case from Burlington um, back when, because I do, um, I am into changing cases from time to time. Uh, the next I got, which I missed this, this is supposed to have been in my other video. Um, this is my uh, holder for my um, AirPods. So I was carrying the, uh, what's that? Kate Spade one, so I got this one for Victoria's Secret. So I like this because of the ring and you can clip it on. But yeah, I'm liking this case. It's easy to clip onto keys or whatever, your purse, give your purse a little pop. Um, so yeah, this is the um, AirPods holder that I'm using. I got this, I've been had this. Um, it posted been in the other video, but it didn't make it for the haul portion, but. I got that, like it, got it from Victoria's Secret. Um, <clears throat> next is my cosmetic bag. This is an OD, um, but a goody, um, brains, beauty, and bronzer. So this is an old one, just I don't toss out cosmetic bags, especially these canvas. You can just easily, you know, throw these in the washer and dryer and keep it moving. So just wash them and keep them. So, I mean, I won't go through too much. I mean, I keep the regular spray, lotion, um, painkillers, which comes in handy because somebody always asks them for, um, you know, aspirin or some type of painkillers. I got a couple of lipsticks in here. Um, I got um, something, I'm, I'm got into product candy. Um, Perfume, got some of that in there. Um, a little um, eye <clears throat> eyeshadow brushes, so that way, if I do wet eyeshadow out, I usually bring the uh, <clears throat> eyeshadow, which I do got some eyeshadows from Mac in here. And if I got to touch up while I'm out, that's why I got these in there. Um, still holding on to this old AKA mirror, y'all remember this. I've been having that for years now. And some lip glosses in here and some additional lipsticks and stuff. Um, so yeah, nothing really has changed in there. Um, you know, when it's that time of the month, it might be some uh, women's products that goes in here as well. But other than that, that's pretty much it there. Um, next is um, my pencil and pens. And I normally keep the, um, phone charger cord in here as well as a plug. I start carrying a plug around, but it's really like pens and writing utensils and any other hoopla that I need to keep in there. Um, I got a pair of gloves. These are actually was um, gloves with my job. Um, they gave these out for homecoming. So um, I like these because they are the touch toe, the touch um, you can use it to, um, you you know, when you do your phone or if you're touching your, you know, it's touch screen um, sensitive. So I like these because you can use this with your phone and touch screens and keep your gloves on. So um, these have definitely came in handy, especially that day. It was cold as all get out. You know, it was like early November, but it was cold as heck that day. Um, next, I got... A comb, gotta have a comb. I got some receipts um, in which I um, I am a part of the Fletch program. So if you have not joined Flex, um, I'm gonna put my code below, and you can earn. Um, you can uh, walk in and earn what like four um, thousand points. So what Flex is. You pretty much um, scan any receipt from any purchases you have made and you earn points. You can take those points and you can um, cash them in for various gift cards. 
Um, so I've been doing it for a few months now and I have had um, gift cards to Dunkin Donuts, gift cards to Bath and Body Works. There's gift cards to Starbucks. It's gift cards to Adidas, the movie theater. Um, pretty much you, you, you earn your points and you can cash up, you can cash them in and get like all types of, you know, gift cards to different stores, restaurants, and setups. Um, so yeah, it's cool. So yeah, um, my link is below. Get you some points. You also give me some points. So yeah, it looks like I got another cone. We don't need all those cones in a purse, so one of them need to stick around. Um, I got a mask. Um, COVID is still out here, so I keep a mask um, because there are moments in life you still need a mask. So uh, I went to a funeral um, yesterday and a funeral home was asking for um, us to put masks on to sit in the chapel. Um, at work, um, we do share offices and we see students. When you're in the office, um, and if you're in the office and you're not by yourself, you do have to put your mask on when you see a student. Um, they actually put the mask on. But yeah, COVID is still out here and the flu is out here and we should probably really consider putting masks back on because yeah, stuff is out here and people still getting sick and people still getting COVID and yeah, so. I keep a mask around. I'll say that. Um, you saw this in my last video. It's a Juicy Couture wallet and you can attach your keys. Um, this is good if you just got to run out. You don't want to take your purse, but you need your ID or a little cash. Um, you can definitely do this. So I like this. Um, you saw this in the last video. Got this for six bucks. Um, what else we got going on? I think that's it because I'm trying not to stuff my purse um got another receipt my koopa's hulk um card you don't need to see those some change and then i have this little pouch i got this from the dollar tree and what i'm gonna put in here is um because i realized i didn't have coup uh, a coupon holder anymore and i got to get back into my coupon gift cards so, like, I got some Popeye's coupons. I got um, some little gift cards. Like, I got some leftover money on Portillo. I got some leftover money on this Portillo card. That was for my birthday. I think I got, like, three bucks on there. But, yeah, when I do go back to Portillo, that's going to come in handy. Got a Myers um, little card there. But, yeah, I said I was going to start back. I needed a pouch or something. And I was going to keep like some business cards. So I did say I needed a pouch for coupons, um, gift cards, and things and such like that. So, and I got this from the Dollar Tree. You can't beat Dollar Twenty Five. You cannot beat this um, little pouch because then want we'll another big, like, bulky pouch. So, got this from the uh, Dollar Tree. Always dreaming. Yep. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, I was not interested in, um, you know, stuff in this bag. Um, plus, um, yeah, just not interested in stuff. And I'm on winter break still. Winter break me. So it's not like I got to carry a bunch of stuff around because I'm not going to work right now. Um, not really doing a lot. Just going around here and there. But not much is going on. So... We'll jump back into work next week. But yeah. So I'm going to move on to the um, rest of like the after Christmas haul, Christmas hauls. Um, so I had already bought my planner for 2023. Bought it after my birthday. Why did this planner just start surfacing around? And I had the, the mug to match it. So I'm like, damn, I need to, um, I want to get this. So I got the, um, this is my planner for 2023. Um, and it's the planner that matched the Kamala Harris um, mug. If you all heard Kamala Harris um, say this quote is, our unity is our strength. 
and our diversity is our power. So they have put this in a coffee mug, pink and green. So of course, AKA been going crazy. It's sold out. Can't nobody find it. And um, they were in the Marshall, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods stores. I have yet to find that mug in any of them stores. Um, I had to end up getting my cup mug from Amazon. Um, but luckily, surprisingly, I saw this at um, Marshall's. And I know um, they only had one. And I was like, it matched the mug. Blah, blah, blah. It's pink and green. And I'm like, but I bought the planner. But it's like, this one is a little less bulky than the one I got. So I'm going to use that planner for my um, home planner. And this might be the planner that makes the moves out with me in the street. So... But I will use both, but this will be the one like when I'm out at meetings or events or something. And this will be like the one that I will be my go-to. Um, so, yeah. So, already started um, writing in it, getting my dates down. People calling, emailing about dates for different things, events, um, some cheer and dance dates coming up. So, Definitely going to jump on that because we don't leave any bags on the table. Uh, but, yeah, I'm liking this. It's cute. Got the mug. Love the mug. That's like my mug I'm really using these days. So, yes. Um, here's how you know you grow up in life. When you end up getting um, pots, different pots. So, my pots are starting to get a little old. Um, some of my pots have been with me as long as I've been in this place and that's going on to be nine years in April it doesn't seem like it's nine years but it's nine years so I am in the process of upgrading pots and pans um, I got some chip dishes that probably need to be discarded so that will be some things I'm working on uh, alone in my decluttering my de decluttering enhancing it's upgrade um, pots, pans, and silverware. So um, those two pots are coming in. I got two pots that's got to go out. So next, another tumbler cup with a straw. Didn't, do I need it? No. So here's the backstory on this. So saw this back over the summer. Like they was talking about, like, I'm going to need another cup. Came into that green cup from Wal what's that, Walmart. Six dollars. Okay, that'll suffice, you know. Or was it five dollars? I don't know, five or six. I said, oh, so that will suffice. So, saw this, right? Then saw it. So, there is a Starbucks at my job across the street. Let's guess. We have Starbucks and Dunkin' on our campus. So, the Starbucks I tend to go to more because it's right across the street from my building that I work in versus... I got to walk a little bit across the campus a little bit to get to the Dunkin'. So, and plus I do Dunkin'. I usually do Dunkin' in the morning, driving through, so I can drive through, have it, and drink it while I'm in the car. So anyway, so, saw this cup long time ago. And every time I would come in, I would add this cup, I would add this cup. So, uh, as we were winding down the semester and winding down our time on campus, I went in there and the guy was like, you know, you've been looking at this cup all semester. You might as well go and get it. It was the last one standing. Um, he's like, you know, I'll give you a little sample. You know, so I was like, oh, okay. So, yeah, I like it. It's a good size. It's not like the, I know the big ones, they got the big ones in gold and silver and green. and But this is a good size. Um this is definitely a good size. And I've been drinking out of it. I sure do. My water, juice, pop, whatever. I, I like drinking out of this. So, yeah. I broke down, got it. I use it. So, yeah. All righty. And then I wanted to um, get some to put my makeup, brushes, and, and beauty stuff in. So, I got this um, from, this is from Marshall's. I really think this is a lunch bag now that I think about it. I think they just had it in the wrong spot and then they have a tag, a price tag on it. But when I think about it, I think it's really a lunch bag. But I'm going to keep it and use it as my uh, makeup bag to put my makeup, the makeup brushes, 
Uh, I just want to have everything in one spot because I just feel like it's just it just scatters everywhere and yeah. So that's what I'm gonna use. Um, little hair clips and things. I think I'm just gonna keep everything in here. So I've already started using it, but yeah, this is gonna be like a little makeup bag, you know. And then last but not least, I went to the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. And I probably should have went, I went to one that was like a standalone store. I should have went to the one that was in a mall. And then, I don't know, because I went the first day of it or they be stingy and keeping stuff hidden. But I just felt like they didn't have like all the normal fragrances they would have. Because I usually like to get the cucumber melon. Um, I know my mom likes the cherry blossom. It's other Jupiter. It's like other fragrances that that's discontinued that they normally put back out during that time. So I just felt like going in at this time, it was a lot of stuff that was picked over. Um, yeah, I didn't really want to invest in a lot of winter candy apple because um, we'll be out of winter eventually so I try not to get a bunch of wintry fragrances um, I like try I like to try to use the fragrance was in season so but now it's like the winter stuff but once you know March hits then you want to start moving to the spring scent so I try to not you know overindulge in the winter scents because they have to you know transcend transcend into the spring it's like at least we don't give a damn so anyway so i did they did end up finding me the cucumber melon i i am a fan of cucumber melon i don't know why it's just so refreshing to me and fruity i don't know why they discontinue this i love cucumber melon so that's that's just been my favorite that's my favorite and i always like to get it during a semi-annual sale so got that and then i had got um the um ice sugar plum now this is something definitely oh that smells good too i love that so this is the only winter one that i wanted to get um, got a hand soap, but I believe it fell out the bag. It's part in the other room. Got a hand soap. And then, um, I ended up getting another candle. So, and like I said, it was low on the candles. I know that probably was just a bad one to go to. Um, because like I said, it was stand alone. Everybody go to that one because it's conveniently located versus going out in the mall. I don't know, but I end up getting this um, pink watermelon um, candle because I'm running low on candles. I but this is smell. This one, this another one smells like a dream. But um, I'm running low on candles. Um, because what I do, I just buy up a bunch, and that's it for the um, Bath and Body Works. Just a light um, pick up there. Um, but I, um, I'm running low on candles, so what I do is, usually I buy up a bunch of Bath and Body Works, buy up candles, body wash and stuff, and then along the way, you know, people birthdays or stuff come up, or you want to give them a little token or something, and, you know, I'm thinking I got this big collection of stuff, I can, like, you know, give them a candle, give them this and stuff. So... Now I'm looking to do inventory, and I'm realizing, well, damn, stuff is down low. I mean, there's a couple of, uh, I burnt out my winter candy apple. I love burning winter candy apple during Christmas time, but I guess I burnt the damn thing up so much that it's out. Uh, I have another win uh, winter um, base candle. I'm burning that in my home office, um, but that's down low, too, and then I'm looking I just got a couple of candles, so I'll be probably shopping for candles in a few months or uh, maybe by Valentine's Day, I'll be trying to get some more candles. So, but yeah, the candle life is running a little low because I, 
keep a candle in my living room. I have a candle I like to light in the bathroom, one in the bedroom, and then one in my home office. It's just something about burning candles makes me feel nice. So, But yeah, other than that, I'm running low. So I guess with the little inventory I got by the time, you know, like I said, around about Valentine's Day, I'll probably be ready for some candles. So maybe they'll have some candles on sale. But that is pretty much it. Just a quick video to pop back in before the end of the year. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, probably be my last video um, for this year. So have a safe and blessed New Year's holiday. Um, be safe. Just be careful. Um, you know, make sure you're with people that you love, friends, family, foes, or whoever. So, you know, just take care of yourself, relax. Um, just, you know, get ready to walk into 2023 confidently. So, that's it. That's all. Stay tuned for more videos.